Well, it is an honor to be with you today. I uh, know that next Sunday will be your last official Sunday in this building, which grieves me to say. But Pastor Lawrence and I have been talking about it's a lot better when somebody's sad that you're leaving, right, than them being glad that you're out of here. <laughs> and so I just, I just wanted to make sure that I was able to come. I'm going to be on the road next week and then your first Sunday which we're so excited for in your next, in your new digs. Your first Sunday, we're actually ordaining a brand new elder or I would try to get there. So I just wanted you to know that. So this Sunday was the Sunday that Lori and I were able to come and we just wanted to physically tell you how proud we are for you, how proud we are of you. The first time I met this guy, I remember, he got that voice down there like that and, he was, he came in and I thought, that is a warrior, right? That is a warrior. And he, he and I immediately became friends and joined in the spirit. And uh, I told him, I told Pastor Lawrence that we are going to be more committed to your success than you will be to your success, than we are to our own success. Amen. Amen. And we mean that. And I still mean that. And uh, if I didn't think that you going to your new place was for your success, I would, I would tie you down. I would hold you back. But we, too, are convinced that this is the best for you. We want you to know, and we wanted you to be able to hear it from us physically, that we are proud of you, and we support you, and prophesy crazy success. I still believe that. Crazy success success that we will laugh about in that new place success in that beautiful gym that now i'm jealous over god's dealing with me because i got to get this thing back here fixed y'all are going to pray for us right okay because i'm jealous of that new i saw that video on facebook i'm like god come on look at his gym when are you going to give me one and so we are we are happy for you proud for you and we stay committed just at a little bit of distance to your crazy success. I love you, Pastor Lawrence. Pastor Lawrence, we are, uh, we are committed to each other for life. He literally helps save our son's life. And my son now is running hard for Jesus. And he and his wife, Abby, <laughs> he and his wife, Abby, are expecting their first baby. So, pa Amen. So Pastor Lawrence, and then I can't help but thank Pastor Champ and Miss Sharon. I remember the night that Jacob actually died. He coded and was in the emergency room. <laughs> I'm not laughing that he died. That was, he died. But uh, you all showed up on the scene. We were out of town. You all showed up on the scene. And Pastor Champ was out there with me. And uh, Miss Sharon asked if she could go back and see him. And... Uh, <laughs> And so, uh, so Pastor Chant went, uh-oh. <laughs> and she went back there, and uh, all we heard was, no! <laughs> and, and she took care of business. And so I can greet you today on behalf of Jacob and Abby and little Juniper that's going to be born in May. <laughs> so you all will forever have a place in our heart and anything that we have is yours i mean that and so we love you i wanted to on behalf of our elders just come and publicly state that today uh Lori, anything you want to say before we pray for them yeah so um that lady holds a special place in my heart because she did that um <clears throat> at the er with us so um I just speak blessings over you all. I'm going to be honest. When Jeff first told me and when we got, you know, the news you all were leaving, um, I was a bit sad. And I know we haven't done church together, you know, the two churches. But what God did here in these last almost six years doesn't happen. You know, it just doesn't happen. You know, when we would tell people, yeah, we're two separate churches. We are. I mean, we were. We were two separate churches. But we shared the space, and we worked the calendar. Where's Kimberly? <laughs> we worked the calendar, and uh, I can't count the number of texts. I would text her, oh, my gosh, Kim, I am so sorry. I forgot to book this, and, you know, and can we switch? Can we do something? And then other times, her the same, like, 
can you all meet in the prayer room instead of here? And you know what? You guys, it worked. <laughs> there was never arguments. There was, because that doesn't, that's not how the body, it's not how the family of God looks. We worked it. Well, not even just, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. Um, so this has been a, an amazing um, journey with you all. But when Jeff told me, I was just a bit sad. But I'm not sad for you all. I'm sad just that we can't keep showing how it works. But in my heart, I told Jeff, he can tell you immediately, I'm like, yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. I said, they're going to have their own building. You know, it's okay to share, but it's like when a kid then gets their own bedroom. <laughs> it's like, I don't have to share. I had a sister. I used to put a piece of tape in the middle of our room because I'm a little OCD and she's not. And so I wanted to make sure that people knew whose side of the room was mine, what side of the room, you know. And so I remember the first time I got, actually first time I got my own room, I was in high school and it was just this freedom and there's freedom. And so there is going to be freedom for you all. I just feel like that's a word now. There's going to be freedom for you all. You all are going to impact that part of Tulsa. And I consider that part of Tulsa the same, similar, where I call this the forgotten area of Tulsa. Where you all are moving, it's a forgotten area. You know, everybody moves south or other places where they tell you success is. Businessmen tell you, go there. The first time that we step foot here and we're hired the position and then considering it almost nine years ago, people advised us, sell that property and move south. And we were like, well, if we do that, if everybody does that all the time and all the churches are only in one area, what are we going to do with the people that are in all these other areas? So I feel like God is placing you all in an area that he hasn't forgotten. Jesus has not forgotten that area. And you all are just going to shine there. You're going to flourish. And as Jeff said, um, we've probably been a little hesitant with Pastor Lawrence because we haven't known what to say. You know, it's kind of like, how do you say goodbye when you don't want to say goodbye? But we don't say goodbye. We just say, see you later, or see you next week, or see ya. Um, but it's just been a little like, oh, okay. We weren't expecting this, but you know what? God was. God was preparing all of that. So I just really speak, speak blessings over you all. Jeff has already said it, but Pastor Lawrence and Michelle and Pastor Champ and Sharon hold a very special place in our hearts. You know, on the outside, we look like your typical all-American white couple. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Our son was dying, dying as a heroin addict. Our oldest firstborn, the enemy was trying to snatch him. And I remember having conversations with Pastor Lawrence of saying, I don't know what to do. We have no point of reference. My husband and I were about as squeaky clean white people as you could be. <laughs> We had no point of reference when Jacob started down that journey. But God knew who we needed to call. Amen. Amen. Knew how to fight with us, pray with us, and knew how to speak to Jacob in a way that Jacob would understand because they, they had been there. Not there no more. <laughs> But had been there. And I remember one time Pastor Champ gave Jacob a job, too, through that. There's one morning I couldn't get Jacob up and went in and told Jeff. And he said, call Pastor Champ. <laughs> and this was at 5 in the morning. And I remember he, I called. And he said, Sister Lori, put the, put the phone to Jacob's ear. And I did. And I don't know what he said. <laughs> My son rose up in bed, and he was raising, he was, he had a high, high fever that morning. He was detoxing in our home, and he, he rose up, handed the phone back to me, and Pastor Champ said, he'll be fine. He'll be up and going. Jacob just got up, dressed himself. We got him to the place where he was meeting to start construction work, 
And these men believed in him. And he'll tell you to this day. He knows it. He knows it. So your church with the pastors and your, your church family have a special place in our hearts. And as Jeff said, we just bless you all more than we can say. But you know what? God exceedingly above blesses you. And so we just celebrate you. We really celebrate you. We love you. We love you. And so after I got over a jealousy for your gym, <laughs> I drove by the building. I've been, I've, I've been to a myriad of meetings there, all kinds of meetings there over the years. And so I knew the property. After I got over my jealousy, I drove back. <laughs> and for some reason, I started claiming that hotel on the other side of the street. Amen. Something hit me. I started claiming that hotel for a rehab center where you could, and a, and a halfway house, right? A halfway house where you could, I'm getting chills as I'm telling you about that. So I drove back and forth there and I'm like, no, no, no. That I see, so I see what God's doing. He showed me. He gave me a little picture of what he's doing with you. And so we want to pray for you. We love you. We've got, to, we've got to leave. We've got something else to be at this afternoon, but we love you. So well, I needed to say that in public and make sure all of you knew that. It's good. It's okay. Any grief is because we just grieve. We won't be able to hug your neck as much. But Pastor Lawrence is actually a board member of Cave Time. He is one of the owners of my ministry. And so uh, he'll remain that. He's one of the speakers at Cave Time USA, September 6th and 7th. I'm, I'm counting on you to fill the house. So I need them to get there and register ASAP because he's going he's gonna to be one of the speakers. And I'm really proud. You're the first African-American speaker, keynote, at Cave Time USA. It's only right. So in the name of Jesus, I put my hand on you. And I release you. Now, I don't release you from relationship. You can't get away from me. But I release you into greater success. I release you into exceeding abundance like we never even dreamed. More than we ever thought. Property and properties in that area. You are going to be a landowner there. Not just of that facility, but other facilities. The Lord will take what the enemy meant to kill you with, and now you have a knowledge of addiction and rehabilitation and re-entry into society, you're going to have your own place. I speak that, and I call that into existence. And Lord, we thank you. So we bless, we release, we send with a tear in our eye, but a, but a, but a smile on our face. In the name of Jesus, amen, and a thousand more. Amen. Just give the Lord a hand clap. right now you better come on you better come on you better come on yeah. come on Lord come on Lord come on Lord mm. Ooh, Jesus Ooh, Jesus uh. Ooh, Jesus mm. my God my God my God my God yes Lord yes Lord hallelujah come on come on come on the water stirred <laughs> come on God is speaking <laughs> 
Oh my God, yes Lord, yes Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord. If you don't know what to do because you ain't accustomed to this, all you got to do is say thank you Lord, thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lead me to your will. <laughs> my soul panted out the thee as a dirt panted out the water. Uh, cross my mind over, God. Cross my heart over, Lord Jesus. It's me, God. It's me, God. Save me. Come on, cry out to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, your presence, your presence. Mm. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes you got to do like the old saints and just, oh, Jesus. Come on, cry out. Oh, I know your flesh don't like it, but your soul want to get free. Some of you have been locked up, my God, for a long time. You're locked up in your soul. You've been locked up in your mind. God has showed up for you to get free. You might as well step up at your seat. And you might as well do something that you're not accustomed to doing. You might as well call on his name. Push up out of your soul. Don't push for your flesh. Your flesh don't want to praise God. Your flesh is tired already. But if you've been locked up, if you've been battling, and you need a breakthrough. You might as well step into the river. Step into the river. The water is stirred up, my God. Oh, you got to know how to tap into the presence. Ha. Oh, my God, it's me, God. Oh, Lord. My God, come on, church. Oh, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. Hey, Lord. I'm trying to find a place to shift, but I can't. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. It's me, Lord. It's me, Lord. It's me, Lord. It's me, Lord. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. I thank you, Lord. Mm. Come on. Let it go. 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 Come on. Let it go. Spirit of the Lord says, let it go. Come on. Come on. We still holding on to stuff. Let it go. Come on. What do you need to let go? Come on. Come on. If you got something you need to bring to the altar, I want you to get up at your seat right now. I'm giving an altar call right now. Don't miss your opportunity. I'm flowing in the spirit out of all over this sanctuary. If you got something that you need to let go, my God, the spirit and the presence of the Lord. Oh, my God. This is the time that you want to get free. When the presence of the Lord has hit the church. Oh my God, this is your opportunity to let it go. I don't care what it is. You know what it is. Bring it to the altar. Whatever it is that you got to let go, bring it to the altar. This is your altar call right now. Do you need healing? Come on, come on. Do you need to let go of bitterness? Come on, let it go. This is the day that the Lord has made. God has stopped by going off for Christ church. Oh my God, this is not church as lose you. Right here. You got to know that the presence, the Shekinah glory has hit the church church my God and so my God whatever you need if you be truthful and honest my God God will deliver you right now God will deliver you right now God will heal you right now God will give you your answer right now many of you like myself is praying for answers step into the river step into the river step into the river you that came down to the altar now talk to God don't let me talk to you my God I can't go to God for you you got to go to God for yourself come on come on speak to him speak to him. Oh my God, why did you come down? Tell him why you're down here. What do you need to release? Release. Come on. Release. Come on. Come on and engage God. And let God engage you. What do you need from the Lord? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh my God, it's me, God. It's me, God. It's me, God. Come on and push. Come on and push. Oh my God, wash my mind. Wash my soul, Father God. Oh my God, give me strategic plans, Father God. Give me clarification on my vision, Father God. Help me interpret my dreams that I'm having, Father God. Give me strength, Father God, to stay, Father God. My flesh want to walk away, but my spirit, no. I ain't got grounds to walk away. Come on, you better talk to God. Oh my God, stand in the gap for your children and grandchildren. Oh, come on, what you, you need? Oh my God, my God, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, healing. Healing to the body. Come on, if you need healing you need to ask God to heal your body today oh 
Oh my God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to encourage all my men, all my men, come on down to the altar. I want every man to come down to her. If you're in a relationship, if you're married, my God, some of us like myself need to stand in the gap for your marriages. This ain't no time to be playing. You better get serious about your soul that's made your warfare all around this church. My God, because the devil is terrified. I promise you, he's terrified of what's about to come. We're stepping into our necks. We're moving into Canaan. We're going on in to possess the land. We have ceased from wondering. I told y'all that. And now it's time to possess. There's still enemies left in the land that has to be defeated. You better come on, my God, and fight for that what belongs to you. You got to fight for your inheritance. You got to fight for your deliverance. You got to fight for your deliverance. You got to fight for your children. You got to fight for your grandchildren. You got to fight for everything that concerns you. Learn how to do warfare. Learn how to move past praise and, and learn how to get into some real worship. Real worship that your flesh can't go. Go into the holiness of holiness, my God. Where all flesh got to cease. Where ain't nothing but you and God. Come on and engage God. Come on and engage God. Oh, cry out to the Lord. Push. <laughs> oh, push till you get your breakthrough. Push till you get your release. Push till you to touch the hem of his garment. If I could just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Stretch your faith towards God. Shut your faith towards God. Shut your faith. The woman with the issue of blood, she has faith to touch him. Your faith is to touch God. Your faith ain't in you, but your faith is in God. You got to get your faith to God. Hey, come on, I need some women with the issue of blood. I need some Zion women. Where's my women at Zion? Where my Amazon women at? Where my warriors at? Zion. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zion. Let the church cry out. Let the church cry out. Oh, you need a Holy Ghost war. Holy Ghost war. Holy Ghost war. Yeah. You see a lot of your sisters and brothers just fell off. Seeing has got them. Seeing has got them. The python has bit them. Oh my God, a fish has just got them. Come on in war. Come on in war. You got to go to another level of warfare. How can we take over that property over there with all them demons, all that prostitution, all that drug addiction out there? It's going to take more than you dancing and clapping and speaking in your tongue. You're going to have to learn how to war. Come on in war. If you're going to see things turn around in your marriage, you will see things turn around in your life. You go out to war. The enemy ain't going quietly. The enemy ain't going quietly. You got to learn how to stay in God's presence until you see the results. Come on and push. I promise you, you ain't tired. Your flesh may be tired, but your spirit is saying, yes, Lord. I'm ready, God. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Give me back what belongs to me. The word of God says you shall recover. God said you're going to recover all. Oh, on the one year, we're going to recover all. Y'all better flow with this pastor. I'm in a whole new place. I, I've been there a long time and you got to recover. God said you're going to recover. God said you shall recover all. We're going to recover all. Everything that the locusts took. Everything that the canker worm stole. Everything that's been ate up. Everything that's lost. If you come on, you shall recover. You're going to recover healthy relationship. Healthy friendship. Healthy finances. Healthy mindset. Healing in your body. Heal it in your soul, but you got to push past your flesh, push past your praise. Let your clap be a holy clap. Let your clap be a war for a clap. Some of you clap because you're patty kicking, but you got to lose your mind so Christ can give you heal. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Yeah. 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 Jacob's up. I'm not going to let you go till you bless me. I need to talk to some Jacob's right now. I'm not going to let you go till you bless me. Some of you still ain't desperate enough. I want to talk to 10 people, my God, that's desperate right now. They say, I'm not letting you go. Come hell to high water. I don't care what the devil is doing. I don't care what it sound like, look like. I ain't going to let you go till you bless me, God. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Hey. 
This is warfare, worship. This ain't praise right here, baby. This is warfare. Oh my God, God is getting the church ready for the next. God is getting the church ready to ship. God is getting the church ready to possess. I promise you, my phone is blowing up. Many people say they're coming to the church. They can't wait to April the 7th. You better get with this church or you're going to be left behind. You better let it all go. I don't care what you walk up in the wind. Let it go. There's another remnant coming. I promise you, Anthony, that watch what I tell you. They coming, and they coming by the floods. God said, if you feed them, I send them. He said, if you feed them, I send them. And y'all know we preach the unadulterated word over here. It ain't no compromise. We preach truth. We preach Genesis through Revelation. Oh, get in the river so you don't get left behind. Get in the river so you don't be left behind. You got to get in the river so you can recover. Recover all. Recover all. Recover all. Come on, engage. Come on and engage. Come on and engage. Come on and engage. Hey. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Thank you for this move. Oh, my God. I knew you was up to something. That's why I dress like I dress today. I felt it amber in my soul. God said you don't need to be clean. Put on some Georgia. Put on your war for a cold. It's time to go to war this afternoon. That's why I dress like this. I felt it in my spirit, Albert. I told my daughter I'm wearing Georgia today because I got to go to war. I fight for my marriage. I fight for my children. I fight for it all, baby. The enemy is terrified of me. He's terrified of you. The more they oppress them, the more they multiply. The more they oppress them, the more they multiply. The more you go through hell the more you gonna multiply you better learn how to take a lick and to keep on ticking if i gotta suffer to show you how to go through i'll do it i'm on the front line tanya if i gotta be on the front line and show y'all what it like how you gotta stand when all hell didn't hit the house when all hell didn't hit the home you got to stand you got to stand with your mind made up with your heart fixed and you'll see god turn it around turn it around oh you gotta be built for it tough baby you gotta be built to land all those that endure to the end the same shall be saved can you endure can you endure the trials can you endure the affliction can you endure the heartaches can you endure the disappointment can you endure when the enemy come knocking at the door do you got what it takes to finish do you got what it takes to finish do you got what it takes to finish oh my god can you endure to the end the same shall be saved if they endure oh yeah 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 oh yeah 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 oh my she can't oh oh my she can't oh my turn out every song oh turn out every song oh take every thought into captivity ah turn down turn down turn down oh we in the we in the let it go release engage stand have your mind made up have your mind made up you're not your mistakes you're not your failures you're not your past new mind give me new wine god give me new wine god give me new wine god new mindset new mindset give me a new hunger give me a new thirst give me a new desire oh he touched me give me a refreshing 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 oh come on we got about a few more minutes and i'm gonna let you go shall recover yeah 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 come on come on everybody at the altar come on come on you shall recover you shall recover you shall recover this is the day that the Lord has made you shall recover oh Lord. let it go let it go let it go let it go it's me God it's me God it's me God oh my God it's me God it's me God possessor Joshua's wise up Caleb and Joshua's rise up. This is a Joshua nation. This is a Caleb nation over here. We are warriors. We are giant killers. Down go Goliath. Down go Goliath. Down go Goliath. Oh, we don't do church. We do Christ, baby. Where my giant killers at? Do I got some down go Goliath? Down go every giant. Down go everything that's mocking you. Down go everything that's coming against you. Joshua's rise up. Caleb rise up. Where are you at today? Yeah. Possess us. 
Oh my God, possess us. Possess us. Yes, Lord, it's me. I see you, Sister Trina. Yeah, 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 yeah,
my God. It's me, God. Oh my God, it's me, God. Come on, we got a war cry. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Heal my body. Heal my body. Oh, my God. Heal my body. Heal my body. Woo. Listen to it. Listen to that sound. Listen to that sound.
speaking as we close the service God is speaking the scripture says his sheep hear his voice he's giving direction he's giving instruction he's giving direction in the presence of the Lord God is speaking the Spirit of God is the wonderful counselor he's speaking and God we thank you that our ears are open to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. God, quiet the noise and the chaos. Speak. Speak about the hard places, God. What are we to do? What are we to do? God, 
I thank you that David inquired of the Lord. I thank you that Moses inquired of the Lord. I thank you that Abraham inquired of the Lord. And they got answers. God, would you speak and would your people have ears to hear what your spirit is saying? After we leave this place, God, I thank you for instruction from heaven. Some of you, God is speaking about that relationship. He's speaking about that financial situation. He's speaking about the things that you will face when you leave this presence, but you're not gonna leave the presence for the Spirit of God said he's gonna go with you. So Father, today, as we all have gathered in one place, in one accord, and the fire of the Holy Ghost has fell. God, I thank you in Acts chapter 2, they left that place and they began to speak in other tongues. And God, you translated the gospel out in the street. And God, I thank you, you're translating through every man, woman, boy, and girl, the gospel. Give us the words to share. Give us that spirit to share what you have done in this room. Strengthen, deliver, heal, set free by your spirit. But God, I thank you that we're going to take what we have received and we're going to give it out. Come on, say that, church. I'm going to give it out. I'm not going to keep it to myself. I'm going to give it out. Just wave your hand like that. I'm going to give it out. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. Just take that posture. I'm going to share it. My hands are open to receive, and I'm going to share. There is a spirit of evangelism upon this church now. There is a spirit that was on the same church in Acts as they went out from the place that God added to the church. He multiplied as we move from this place to the next in the next two weeks. God is beginning to multiply there are divine conversations at work and in your neighborhood. My God, in the grocery store, there are divine connections. You're going to run into people that you haven't seen in a while, and God's going to give you the grace to say, why don't you come to the house of the Lord? I'm telling you what I know. Get ready to give an answer for the hope that lies within you. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this group of Levites and psalmists and worshipers. God, thank you for the people of God. Yeah, come on. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. And God, we thank you that what you have done in this place, you want to share with the world. Come on, say that. He wants to share it with the world. Come on, talk to yourself. Tell yourself, I'm the answer. God has put the answer on the inside of me. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for the anointing and the grace to share the gospel. We're not ashamed of the gospel, for it's the power of salvation to all those who believe. And God, I thank you for that grace to be ministers of your grace all across this city. Now, God, go with us to our homes. Give us safe travel as we leave this place. God, I bind arguments. I bind the devil that would come to steal, kill, and destroy. And God, we loose upon your people peace and love, forgiveness. Healing, Amber, healing upon your body. Healing of the gallbladder, healing of the heart. Come on, lay your hand. I just got to obey the Holy Ghost just for a minute. Lay it on the place that the diagnosis was given. It might have been a psychiatric diagnosis. It might have been a cardiologist diagnosis. It might have been a nephrologist that said your kidneys are failing. But God said no by the blood and by the stripes that he took. You're healed. Come on, say it right now. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. And as you're laying your hand on yourself, there's a healing anointing for you to lay your hand on others. Yes, there's a healing anointing. Lift your hands. We're about to leave. It's, it's before 3 o'clock. There is an anointing. 
Shakabostai Ramaseta to be the hands and the feet and the mouthpiece of G. Iris. My God, I release that anointing upon this church. You thought it was just the pastor, but it's you, the Spirit of God is calling to be a voice at the car dealership, to be a voice at the workplace, to be a voice in the cubicle, to be a voice of righteousness. And your lifestyle will line up with what is coming out of your mouth. Father, we thank you that you seal us by the Holy Ghost and that we love you with our whole heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. And as we go from this place, we love our neighbor as we would want to be loved. God, thank you for John 15. Oh, my God. They're going to know that we're Christians by the love that we have that's demonstrated in this room. And I prophesy as we close, they're coming from the north, they're coming from the south, they're coming from the east, and they're coming from the west to 205 South Sheridan. They will be every race. They will be every tribe. They will be even every tongue. More than one language. They will come in smelling good, and they will come in smelling bad. They will come in dressed appropriately, and they will come in dressed inappropriately. And it will be the love. I'm talking about real love that is demonstrated that will cause them to be planted in the house of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We love you. God, seal us until the day of salvation. Now to him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us spotless, to hear well done, thy good and faithful servant before the Father. God, be all glory, honor, dominion, and power to your name and your name only. In Jesus Christ's strong and precious name, all the church said. Come on, love three people before you leave. Love on them.